I don't know that I am a natural leader, but I love being surrounded by people who encourage and help develop that leader in me. Finding what it is about yourself that you're leading from and, and how that directs and guides what you're leading to. Just from the variety of people who were in the program that day, I think it was helpful for me to gain insight into others in leadership. Being there and hearing all of these incredible preachers and speakers, just it, they fed me. For me, it was to realize the, the value and worth that I am. I also came home feeling like there is more. You, I mean, we don't have to stay in the box all the time. We can reach out of the box and do some things. I found it personally an incredibly valuable experience. I was new to my congregation. I knew that I wanted to be an effective leader in this congregation. I think that as a pastor, part of, part of my job is to never stop learning. For me, that whole life of personal and social holiness really came together there. I don't think my leadership has been strengthened at all. I feel like my leadership has been freed. I've been freed to be me again. I've been freed to lead again. I've been freed to move from the Christ and the love that I know. The Understanding Your Leadership uh, workshop helped me as a leader to grow in certain areas regarding my own personality and to see other areas that maybe sometimes you know, get lost in the shuffle just of who we are as strengths that I can count on. I was recently privileged to attend the EQHR conference that was provided to uh, pastors and ministry professionals through a grant from the leadership development team. Emotional intelligence is not something normally taught in schools and seminary, but it's so valuable for those in ministry. Well, Courage to Lead is specifically for young United Methodist pastors. It's all children's ministers across Western North Carolina who are in the same situation I am. You know, we're going through the same things. They can talk about this, hey, I did this activity, it was great, it worked, or we have this struggle, and it's a safe place for us to talk and grow, which has been really good. I attended Called and Gifted Workshop, and what it gave me was personal worth. That trip was so wonderful. As a deacon, appointed beyond the local church to sit in the new room where John Wesley took church to the world was so powerful and overwhelming. Being in the presence of other pastors and hearing the things that's taking place in their churches I always find rewarding and uh, even when we're not in session just the conversation it's good. The knowledge that I gained has helped me a lot in my one-on-one -on -one interactions with folks to really be able to see, okay, what's really, really going on here? What's really the issue? The fact that there was a grant offered caught my attention. This is an outstanding nationwide renowned program. And of course, um, the expense of the program reflects its reputation and I would never have been able to afford it without the help of the conference. I was able to attend it because of the scholarship. Each of us taking that time to spend together uh, helps to strengthen all of us.